Good afternoon. I wanted to share with you a minor improvement I did on my aircraft today um, concerning the navigation. I myself, like probably most of you, use uh, Sky Demon as a suitable backup for navigation. The emphasis has been on backup, of course, because the maps on my knee remain always my primary point of reference, but Sky Demon is undoubtedly a useful tool for navigation. It significantly reduces the stress. My problem, though, was that uh, up to now I've used my phone for navigation which I would stick onto the dashboard. Um, the problem with a phone is that really it is quite small so whilst it actually works very very well I've had occasions where air traffic control would ask from me my precise location I would basically hesitate because I literally could not see with my poor eyesight the small writing on the screen so I decided to shop around and invest in a larger screen. After having taken several measurements I honed in on the ideal replacement for navigation for a Magni Gyro M16C. Now the tablet in question is this. This is a Samsung Galaxy A10.1 2019 edition. I got the LTE version, I'll explain later why LTE can be quite useful as opposed to just the Wi-Fi version cost me £240. Now the next uh, challenge was how to put it onto the aircraft. Now it so happens that the tablet, at least for the configuration the controls I have on my M16, it's ideal because the only thing that it will cover is the compass. As it happens, compasses are useless anyhow if you have a phone next to them because uh, of the magnetic field that they emanate so the compasses don't give you the right direction at all so there's no point in having the compass visible anyhow so the tablet is an ideal replacement now the challenge is how do you fix it on the main concern is that should the tablet fail while I'm traveling I need to be able to take it off quickly in order to revert in a flash back to using the maps and the compass and having a sticky pad on the dashboard really wasn't an option because you're trying to wrench the thing off the panel and apart from the fact you may break the tablet or something else it takes too much time too much stress so I ended up figuring out a clip system which on this particular machine for this particular tablet works particularly well. So all I needed to do is um, remove this screw and put this little bracket here, one here and one on this hump here. The screws come off easy just with the screwdriver obviously and it's a little bracket which I bent to be an L shape. These are little metal brackets. This one doesn't need to be an L shaped just uh, it just basically you fit it straight onto the actual engine uh, monitoring panel and it provides a suitable gap in which to put the tablet. Crucially on the top, I've actually taken another piece of metal, which is uh, flexi, as you can see, and I rolled it around in tape so that it gives it a bit of rigidity. And this one, I simply screwed it underneath the front screw holding the plexiglass windshield. It is important that this metal is sufficiently thin so as to snugly fit underneath because the last thing you want to do is you want to break the plexiglass by having something too thick squeezed underneath it. So I found a bit of metal here in the warehouse thin enough but still giving it enough rigidity and a little bit of a spring action. Now if I take my tablet now stick it in here and then literally push it and it clips on. There we are mega secure I've already been for a test flight with it and uh, there's no way that's going to come off but more importantly should I want to uh, release it because it stops working I need to revert quickly back to using the compass and then all I need to do is literally unclip it here take it off and stick it onto the side and there I am one second and I'm back to using the compass and uh, manual shall we say manual navigation so tablet 2019 version LTE perfect fit for the M16 gyroplane the only thing that's partially covered is the fuel pressure gauge but it's visible enough to be able to monitor the pressure more crucially you can see whether the needle is dangerously low which is the most important thing nothing else is covered except for the compass which as I said is totally useless now you may ask yourself why LTE well that is very useful because this tablet has um, a couple of advantages 
The first one is the GPS system has got the latest chip which includes Galileo, the European satellite system. But what you do want to retain is the ability for the GPS system to use cellular towers as an aid to home in quickly onto a GPS signal. That's called the A-GPS, assisted GPS system, which all phones do have, and tablets with the ability to communicate with a telephone network. So what I end up doing before every flight is simply remove the SIM card from my phone and stick it into the tablet. And then after that, I'm able to go flying. There you go. Done, sorted. Over and out.